Inhibition of cyclin-dependent kinases is in some way a new approach to treating cancer. Cyclin-dependent kinase biology has been known for a long time. The Nobel Prize in 2001 went to the scientists who identified the role of CDKs in biology and uh, regulation of the cell cycle. And there's been drugs aimed at targeting CDKs in development for well over a decade. But none of them have found a true home in cancer management. Uh, and, and for that reason, we think the data with pavlocyclib is, is validating the approach of, of blocking CDK4-6. Uh, Cyclin-dependent kinases play a key role in regulating cell cycle progression. Depending on which, cell, which part of the cell cycle, various CDKs are, are playing a role. There's at least nine cyclin-dependent kinases that have been identified. There's serine threonine kinases. Uh, a lot of the drugs in development to this point have been more pan-CDK or focusing on CDK2 and CDK9. And it raises the question of the lack of benefit we've seen to this point until pavlocyclib. Was that because these weren't good agents? Were they not hitting their targets well? Or uh, were the other CDKs not important? Or were they not selecting the right patients who were CDK dependent? So the pavlocyclib data is very important for the field, I think, not only for breast cancer researchers and breast cancer patients, but I think for the broader oncology field, because it speaks to the fact that now targeting CDKs and, and cell cycle biology might play a, an important role in cancer medicine.